Russian propaganda claimed Ukraine was planning to attack the Zaporizhia and Kursk nuclear power plants, hinting that Russia might be planning a nuclear provocation. Andriy Kovalenko, head of the Center for Countering Disinformation of Ukraine, said this. Russia may be preparing a nuclear provocation. Their scenario of accusing us of terrorism and an attack on the Kursk nuclear power plant did not work, and now they are lying about a dirty bomb and our possible provocation. This is evidence that Russia may be preparing a terrorist attack, Kovalenko wrote. The Center for Countering Disinformation responded to the publications that appeared in the Russian state propaganda agencies RIA, Novosti and TASS. The Russians are spreading claims that Ukraine is preparing to shell the Zaporizhia and Kursk nuclear power plants. The Ukrainian Foreign Ministry also denied Russian claims about Kyiv's alleged plans to attack nuclear power plants with so-called dirty bombs. Ukraine has neither the intention nor the ability to carry out any such actions. Russia must stop spreading dangerous lies. Ukraine has always been and remains a committed member of the Treaty on the Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons. We do not have any dirty bombs and do not plan to acquire them. When the Russian Federation first spread this nonsense in 2022, we invited an IAEA mission which completely refuted this lie. Nothing has changed since then, said Foreign Ministry spokesman Hiori Taiki. We officially refute these false reports. Ukraine has neither the intention nor the ability to carry out any such actions. Russia must stop spreading dangerous lies, he said. The Kursk nuclear power plant is located nearly 80 kilometers from the Kursk Oblast border town of Sudza that was reportedly captured by Ukrainian forces during Kyiv's ongoing incursion into Kursk Oblast. Russian media reported that Russia is preparing to defend the Kursk plant as Ukrainian troops approach and have begun constructing defensive lines near it. The Zaporizhia nuclear plant, Europe's largest nuclear power station, has been under Russian occupation since March 2022. Its position near the front line has led to heightened nuclear safety risks throughout Russia's full-scale war. Ukrainian unmanned boat attacking Russian annexed Crimea region has been struck at the peninsula's coastal waters. The footage of the destruction of the Ukrainian boat has been circulated on Telegram's social media app. The attack comes amid fierce fighting in Russia's Kursk region where Ukrainian troops have made significant advances and territorial gains. It should be noted that two more Ukrainian unmanned boats were struck in Crimea in July. Ukrainian officials defend attack on the peninsula, calling Crimea a legitimate target. Ukraine has stepped up attack on illegally occupied Crimea Peninsula. Last month, Ukrainian army launched large-scale attack with aerial and maritime drones, targeting Russian military targets on Crimea. The operation carried out by the Navy in the Security Service of Ukraine SBU, damaged or disabled a command center and an ammunition depot among other facilities at Lake Donislav. Crimea was annexed by Russia in February 2014. After Ukrainian army attack on Kursk of Russia, German government has announced the delivery of a new military aid package to Ukraine. It includes short- and medium-range Iris-T air defense systems and Leopard tanks, stated German Major General Christian Freudering. According to him, Ukraine will receive two short- and medium-range air defense systems, Iris-T, by December 2024. Additionally, Ukraine will get 16 self-propelled artillery systems of two types and other weapons. Germany plans to transfer to Ukraine, two IRIS-M air defense batteries and two IRIS-T SLS systems, 10 Jeopard anti-aircraft systems, 12 PZH-2000 self-propelled howitzers and 4 Zuzana-2 self-propelled howitzers, RCH-155 self-propelled howitzer, about 30 Leopard 1A5 tanks, 400 MRAPs, logistic transport, drones and anti-drone systems. 556 Malawi and Kwacha's assault rifles, medical supplies, a field hospital.
Germany is one of the leaders in providing military assistance to Ukraine. It was previously reported that Germany announced the transfer of an additional Patriot air defense system to Ukraine. According to the German defense minister, Ukraine will receive a quarter of Germany's Patriot reserves. However, Berlin refuses to provide Ukraine with long-range Taurus missiles. The last time Germany provided assistance to Ukraine was in early June of this year, which included Iris-T air defense systems, HIMARS multiple launch rocket systems, and Leopard 1 tanks.